طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وال نو جو تو سيكشن 2.2 which is mainly about finding the limits using the graphs and using the tables through the numerical calculation okay so objective is estimate the limit using numerical tables and graphical approach and also will check when the limit can fail to to exist cases where the limit will fail to exist okay let's consider this function x cubed minus one over x minus one okay now we want to we want to deal we want to see the behavior of the graph of the function near x equal one we know that f of one is undefined very clear f of one undefined okay f of one undefined okay so we use the filling table i took values near one i took 0.75 i plug it into this function i put x 0.75 do the calculation i get 2.313 i took point i, I plug 0 0.1 0 0.9 i get 2.710 I plug 0.99, I plug, I get this 2.970. I plug 0.999, I get 2.997. Not only that. Also, I took values more than one. So I plug 1.25, I get this. I plug 1.1, I'm getting this. I plug 1.01, I'm getting this. I'm plugging 1.001, I'm getting this one. Now, as x approaches one this is the important thing as x approaches one here from the left taking values less than one and here from the right taking values more than one and then letting x approaching one the function will approach what if you look at these two numbers very clear the function will approach three the function will approach three and also from the graph, if you look at the graph, this is the graph of the function. As I'm approaching one, as I'm approaching one, either from this side or from this side, I'm not talking about x equal one. I'm talking approaching one. I'm trying to reach one, not at one. Just before one, before one, I will be here somewhere. So the value of the function will be around three. If you go from this side, the value of the function also if we take more, more values more than one. So very clear, the limit is going to, to three. So we get this. Limit f of x as it goes to one, we write it like this. Limit f of x as x goes to one is equal to three from either side. Okay. Let, let us do another example for values of x near 2 for this function let us do the table i took values less than 2 1 1 1.5 1.8 1.9 i check f of x very clear i'm going towards what 4 i took values more than 2 and i go to 2 3 2.5 i'm going to 2 what will happen to the values still 4 this is going always on, almost to four. And also from the graph, as I'm approaching two, as X approaches two from either side, F of X will approach four. So we say the limit of this function as X goes to two is equal to four. This is what they meant by how to find the limit using <coughs> numerical table or the graphs. Uh, I think these two examples explain it in a good way. Okay. So we have what's called the, the limit, and this is intuitive definition of a limit, informal definition. It means what? Um, I can make the values of f of x, you can make the values of f of x are really close to L, 
by restricting x to be sufficiently close to a. As x close to a, f of x will be close to l. We say f of x goes to l as x goes to a. We write it this way. Limit x goes to a of f of x. Limit of f of x as x goes to a is equal to l. Now, do we care about the value of the function at a, f of a? We don't care about this. The limit, just the behavior as I'm approaching a. What will happen at a is not my business. So if you look at this function, very clear. As x goes to a, the function goes to l. As this goes to a from this side, look at this function. Here, f of a is this. This is f of a. Do we care about this to find the limit? No. The limit will be the same. As I'm approaching a, I will be here. As I'm approaching a from this side, I will be here somewhere. So it will be l, the limit, also in this case. Not only that, here f of a not equal to l, still the limit is equal to l because the limit just I'm checking the values near a, not at a. I need the function near a. Look at this one. The function is not defined. f of a is not defined. Still, the limit is equal to l because you want to check the values as I'm approaching a, yeah, it will be somewhere here. So I'm approaching L, either from this side or from this side. Okay. Look at this function. Okay. Do the table. I took values less than one, going to one, and then checking the values of f of x. I took also values more than one. Do the same, 1.5, and just I'm reaching one. So x goes to 1. What will happen to f of x? It will go to, look at this, 0. 0.5, half. So say the limit is equal to 0.5. And this is the graph. The function is not defined at x equal 1. Huh? If for f at 1 is undefined. Still, the limit is defined and is equal to half. Because as I'm approaching a, the function will approach half. Look at this function. This function at one, it's two. So what will be the limit? The limit still will be 0.5 because I'm checking as X goes to one. I don't care what will happen at one. It's not my business what will happen at. So the limit is still 0.5. Yeah, which is clear. Yeah, this is another example. We're on the same example where here f of a undefined in f of a is different than the limit huh? f of a is one here f of a equal to in all cases the limit is equal to two here f of a is one but it's not the limit the limit is two because there is approaching one from this side or this side it will be around here so it will be two Okay. Okay. I need to find the limit for this function. Yeah. What will happen? I can graph the function. Yes, we can graph the function. Yeah. H how to rewrite this? What's the meaning of x not equal to 2? That has two things. Means x less than 2 and x greater than 2. So this function, I can write it 1 as x less than 2. 0 at x equal to 1 as x greater than 2. So the function, if I want to graph it, it will be something like this. At 0, it is 2. Um, no, let's say at 2, at 2 is 0. At x equal 2, it is 0. And before 2, it's 1. And after two, also it's one. Greater than two, also the function is one. What will be the limit? As x goes to two of f of x. 
Is it zero? No, because I'm, I'm talking as I'm approaching to approaching to will be around here or around here from right or left. So the limit will be one, not zero. The limit will be one. OK, now we'll talk to the cases where the limits will fail to exist. We have three cases. I will do I will do them by by examples and then then I'll go back to this uh, uh, to this slide. The first one. The limit does not exist. Why? Hmm. If you think about it. What is this absolute value of X? Will be. Minus X if X is negative. And X if x is positive. What is the absolute value of x over x? That will be what? If x is negative, if x equals 0, if x is positive. If x is negative, it will be minus x over x, and that will be minus 1. If x is 0, it will be undefined. If x greater than 0, it will be x over x, that will be 1. So the graph of the function, the graph of the function will be something like this. At zero, it's undefined. Less than zero, it will be minus one. And greater than zero, it will be one. So it will be this case. Fx approaches a different number from the right side of C, then it approaches from the left side of C. Look at here. As I'm approaching zero from the left, as I'm approaching zero, this is this is the function. Huh? This is my function. As I'm approaching from left, I'm going to minus one. I'm rising from right, I'm going to one. So I'm having two different values. From left is different than from right. Then we say the limit does not exist. The in the okay. Another example. Square root x minus one. Now, now this is the graph of square root x minus one, which is at one. This is will be the graph. So you want to check the limit as this goes to one square root x minus one. I can discuss it from the right, but from the left, I cannot discuss it. So we say also, this is does not exist, because right is different than left. We say the limit does not exist. The second case, if you look at this graph, what is the limit as this goes to zero? goes to zero, it will not go to a specific number. It will not approach a real number. It goes to infinity. It's like it's going to infinity. It increases without bound. It goes to infinity. And this is, will be the third, the second case of the limit fail to exist. Which is f of x increases or decreases without bound, either going to infinity or going to minus infinity. This is the case. Yeah, the third one, like sine one over x. If we took a value, the function will oscillate between minus one and one. As I'm approaching zero, I cannot reach a specific number. It will oscillate, oscillate, and, and it will go between minus one and one. We'll take all the values between minus one and one. I cannot say and it will reach a this number. So we say the limit does not exist. And this is the third case has no limit at zero. Which is this one, the third case. F of X oscillates between two fixed values as X approaches C. OK, these are the, th the three cases. Also, we'll define what's called one-sided limits in this section. Actually, it's not in this section. It's in section 2.4, but I think it's good to have it in this section. Uh, 
If we look at this function, h of t, the heavy side function, it is zero if t is negative and one if t is positive. If you look at this, very clear, yeah, this is the graph of the function. Yeah, no need, yeah. This is the graph of the function. So as t approaches zero from the left, the function will approach what? Zero. But from the right, the function will approach one. I write it this way. How to say approach zero from the left? We say t goes to zero and we put a minus sign from the left. T approaches zero from the right, it will go to one. I write what? Plus sign. This is minus sign. This is plus sign. This is from the left and from the right. Only values of t that are less than zero. Say t goes to zero from left. Greater than zero, we say t goes to zero from right. Okay. So we have this definition. This goes to zero from left, means I will discuss um, as x approaches a from the left, from the left, we see the behavior as x approaches a from the left. And from the right, as x approaches a from the right, the right hand, I mean, the, from, the, from the right, right of a. This is a, I am to the right of a. Check values as x approaches a from the right, this is x approaches a from the, from the left. I have, we have this theorem. The limit is equal to L as x goes to a. If and do if the left is equal to L and the right also equals to L. They should, they, 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 these two values should be the same. And the limit does not exist. It means left not equal to. If the left not equal to the right, then we say the limit does not exist. Like in in these cases when we discuss the limit does not does not exist. Like in this one, we have the limit from the right is one. The limit from the left is minus one. So they are not the same. So we say the limit does not exist. So for how decide? We say the limit from the left is zero. This is one. So the limit does not exist because right not equal to left. Okay, let us do these examples. We say limit x goes to two from left. Two, this is two. I want to see it from left. I will be where? I will be around here. So the value goes to what? To three. From right. If I want to check it from right, I will be where? I will be around here. I will be around here. So the value will be one. So what is the limit as it goes to two? Notice these two are not the same. Left not equal to right. So we say right away the limit does not exist. Let us check five. Five from the left. I want to check five from the left. So it will be around here. So the answer is two. What about five from the right? I will be where? I will be here. So it's still the answer is two. So what will be the limit? It will be two because left is equal to right. Notice that g at five is equal, not equal to two. This is not my business. I don't care about what will happen at five. Another problem. X goes to one from left. One from left. One from left. It will be what? Very clear, I will be here, so that will be one. One from right, one from right. I will be where, I will be somewhere here. So the answer is four. Minus four from left, minus four from left, I will be around here, which is three. Minus four from right, I will be here, I will be around here, which is three still. So what will happen? Limit x goes to one. These two are not the same. So we say the limit does not exist. Goes to minus four. These two are the same. So we say they are equal to three. The limit is equal to three. 
x goes to 2 from right. x goes to 2 from right. This is 1, this is 2. 2 from right. I will be where? I will be here. That will be 1, 2, 3. That will be 3. Minus 3 from right. Where is it? This is 0. This is minus 3 from right. I will be here. So it will be 0. Minus 3. Mm, wait a minute. I need to find limit. X goes to minus 3 from left. From left, I will be where? I will be around here. Which is, yeah, this is 0 minus 2. So this is will be, does not exist. Because right, not equal to the left. What about this goes to minus 4? This is minus 1, minus 2, minus, and this is minus 4. So left will be here, right, yeah, is it? This is 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus, oh, this is 4, not minus 4, sorry. Yeah. Talking about 4, 4, not minus 4, sorry. 1, 2, 3, this is 4. So left, right, I will be here. That will be two. Left, I will be here, same thing. And that will be two. So the limit is equal to two. Because right, limit is goes to four from right. Equal limit is goes to four from left. And both are equal to two. Okay. More examples. Limit is goes to one from right. One from right. One from right will be here. That will be one. One from left. One from left from this side. I will be here. So that will be two. So what will happen? X goes to one. They are not the same. So they do not exist. Two from right. Two from right. I will be here. That will be one. Two from left. It will be one. So as X goes to two, they are the same, so it will be two. Zero from right, either we'll go from this side or this side, it will be zero, the value of the function. So then if it goes to zero, it will be zero. Okay. Now I'd like to do some exercises from the from the book about this section. Um yeah. This I think suggested problems. Uh, it covered the same. I mean, yeah, it covered uh, these problems from five to ten. The same idea. He gave you the function. He gave you the table. What you will do? You just plug the numbers into the calculator and get it. You plug minus point one in, instead of x. Do the calculation. You will get this table. So very clear. The limit is going to where? Half. Look at this. So for sure, as it goes to zero, the function goes to half. Then they have this problem, 11 to 20. He gave you the function. He did not give you the table. You need to make the table. And do the same thing. And if you do this table, you get this. So if you notice, this, this is going to where? As I'm approaching one from this side or from this side, it will be one over four will be 1 over 4. Yeah, very clear, 0.25, which is 1 over 4. This one, same thing, with the table. It will go to where? Look at these two. Yeah, for sure, this is going to 27. So this limit is 27. Just using the table. Now using the graph. What will happen if I am using the graph? Or using the table. Let me do the table instead. Okay. Now, if you check this one, this is 21. As I'm approaching zero from this side, I'm getting what? Four. But if I'm getting zero from the other side, I'm getting what? So left. So it means limit. As this goes to zero from right. Not equal limit as this goes to zero from left for this function. So the limit does not exist. This is for the second. Yeah. 
let me put it here. Limit as goes to zero from right equal to zero. Limit as goes to zero from left is equal to four. So the limit does not exist. Here, if you notice, the number is increasing, increasing without bound in both sides. Go 3,000, then it will go uh, 30,000. Then because of that, the limit would be does not exist. The limit will fail to exist. OK, now with this exercise, use the graph. He give you a graph. He want you to check what will happen. Limit is goes to zero. If you check goes to zero from this side or from this side, what will be the limit? I will be I will be here, will be here. So both are the same. That will be one. Now check this one. X goes to one from the graph. I'm going to one from this side. I will be here. So it will be one, two, three, four. It will be four. Going from the other side. It will be here. It will be four. So the limit is equal to four. F of one is equal to two is not my business. This one. And this goes to two. Look, if I'm going from the right, it will be one. Limit as it goes to two from the right is equal to one. What will be limit as it goes to two from the left? It will be minus one. We go on this side, it will be here. That will be minus one. So because of that, this limit does not exist. What about this? It will oscillate very clearly. It will oscillate. It will not reach a specific value. So the limit does not exist. Look at this one. Yeah, from left and right. Limit as it goes to zero from right. From right, I will be here. That will be zero. What about from left? Yeah, from left, I will be here will be there, that will be two. So they're not the same. So this limit does not exist. Tan X, as this goes to by over two. Yeah, look what will happen. Limit, as it goes to by over two, from right for tan X. From right, from here, it will go to minus infinity. What about limit, as it goes to by over two, from left. For this tan x less than pi over two. I'm going where? Plus infinity. So what is the limit here? Does not exist. Okay. As I see this, use the ground side whether the value of the given quantity exists. If it does, find it. Okay. Yeah, he wanted to find the values. F of minus two. Where is f of minus two? Undefined. I don't have f of minus two, so this is undefined. Limit as it goes to minus two also does not exist. Yeah, because left goes to minus infinity and right goes to plus infinity. F at zero. I don't know if there is one clause. Yeah, I think this one clause. So f of zero, four. What about x goes to zero? It will be does not exist. Why? Because left, it will be half or something, but right, it will be four. So they are not the same. f at two, undefined. I don't have f at two. So f at two, undefined. What about the limit as it goes to two? It will be yeah, almost one um, or half. Yeah, it depends how we look at it. I can say it's one. Four, yeah, this is the value f at four. So if a four is defined, it will be two. What is the limit that goes to four? It goes to plus infinity, so we say does not exist or goes to infinity. They are the same. Now, he wanted to sketch the graph of f. Then it is by the values for which the function exists. 
for which the limit exists. You need to graph sine x and one minus cosine x and cosine x. Yeah, that will be the graph where no, there is no. Yeah, so just just I will tell you how, how to graph this. What is sine x? This is sine x. Okay, but I want it where? I want it when x not equal to zero. So actually, I need only this part, this up to here. And this one, I don't need it. This is what I want. Then he want one minus cosine x. Cosine x multiplied by minus and do the same. So you get this one. And this is cosine x. Now we have the graph. Now from the graph, when the limit does not exist, very clear, I have problem only with, with by, only with by. So the limit always exists except at, at pi. Sketch a graph of a function that satisfies the given values. There are many correct answers. You cannot find just just you need to graph, and this is examples. Just you need to graph a function satisfying all of these uh, yeah, all of these conditions. Check this graph, for example. F of zero is undefined. Yeah, I don't have f of zero. F of zero is undefined. Look at this open, huh? Limit is goes to zero is equal to four. Yes, it's equal to four, right? And if they are the same, if of two equals six, but the limit is goes to two is different, is three. Yeah, so this is satisfy these conditions. Here, f of minus two is zero. If of two is zero, also you make it zero. Look at this, huh? If of two is zero, but the limit is goes to minus two is zero, also. If it goes to minus two is zero. Yeah, you mean left and right, they are the same. But it goes to two is different. Huh? Right is something and left is something else. Estimating a limit. Yeah, you need a table to do this. He did the table. He noticed as I'm approaching zero, the value of the limit goes to what? To two. So this limit will be equal to two. Also, if you set the graph of the function, this is the graph of the function. Okay. Where it's not defined at one, at zero. So th there is an open circle here. So very clear the limit from this side or from this side, it goes to two. Yeah. Use the graph and find the values of C for which the limit exists. Or let me do it the other way. When the limit does not exist. When the limit does not exist, minus three. Here exist, exist. Here the limit exists, except minus three in this case. X. So the limit exists if X not equal to minus three. Any values other than that, the limit exists. Here we have a problem at this point, it's okay. Limit exists. Here we have a problem which is minus two. So x not equal to minus two. And at zero, because left not equal to right. This goes to plus infinity, minus infinity, I mean. So I have zero also. And that's it. X not equal minus two or zero. Now let me finish by this true or false. This is just to finish the questions from the book. Three or true or false problems. If f is undefined at x equals c, it, does that mean the limit does not exist? No, this is false. I don't care what will happen at c. Just we need to find the limit. Huh? Look, many examples before. The function is not defined. Um, for example, yeah, like in this one. The function is not defined at 2, but the limit exists. Because we can discuss the function before two and after two. If the limit, yeah, by the way, this one is about the definition, uh, formal definition, so just ignore it. If the function is equal to L, the limit is equal to L, no, this is false. Because as I said, and for example, look, 
yeah, we have examples. Yeah, look at this one. If the function is equal to six, the function f of two equals six, but the limit is different. So finding the limit, just I need to discuss the function near a. So these two statement is false. If the limit is equal to l, it doesn't mean that f of c equal l or the other way. What is the limit of this function? The square root of x. I think this is yeah. From the problems from the book. Okay, limit of this is equal 0.5. Is this true? Yes, because if you look at 0.25, I can discuss it from the right and from the left. It's still, the square root I can't find. So it will be square root of 25 over 100. That will be 5 over 10, which is 0.5. So this is true. This one, wrong. Why? Because as I discussed before, if you think about square root of x, the square root of x, yeah, notice 0.25, you can't check left or right. Zero, you can check right, but you cannot check left. So this limit is not equal to zero. The limit does not exist. Okay, let me do now questions from the old exams. Which of the following choices about the function graph is true? Let me do it backward. X goes to zero. X goes to zero. X goes to zero. This is left. This is light and this is left. So very clear limit as this goes to zero of this function. It's zero, not one, it's zero. So this is wrong and this is wrong. Now I want to check the limit as this goes to one. Uh, be careful. One from right, it is zero. And from left, from left, it will be something like minus two. Huh? Yeah, it will be minus two. So what will be the limit as this goes to one? does not exist. So this is wrong. This is wrong. So the limit does not exist. But he said now, if you take any point between minus one and one, take any point here or there or there or there, always the limit exists. Right and left, they are the same. So this is the correct one. Which one statement is true? Let me do it backward because the answer is A. X goes to minus infinity. As I go to minus infinity, the function is going to what? To minus one. So this is wrong. As this goes to four, what is four? Four. The limit, is it one? No. The limit should be two. The limit, right? And if it goes to two, so it's not one. This should be two. X goes to one. One, it's here. Goes to one, this side or this side, I'm going to one, not zero. So this is one. It goes to minus three. Uh, minus three, right, not equal to left. So that should be, does not exist. X goes to zero, yes, I'm going to infinity. So this is correct. If X goes to two, he said the X goes to two, means what? Limit, X goes to two, exists means limit is goes to two from right equals limit is goes to two from left from right uh, this should be two two sorry for that from right i will be where i would be, i will be here limit let me do this limit is goes to two from right for this function means i need to substitute this function so i want to take the behavior more than two so it will be square root x plus c, and they can just substitute, and that will be two plus c. So this is from right. What about from left? Goes to two from left for this function, which means less than two. So we'll take this function. Limit 
as goes to two from left for these two. These are nice functions you can just substitute. You have what? Three minus half times one, which is two. So I have a square root two plus C is equal to two. Square it, two plus C equal to four. So C equal to what he want. He wants C cubed plus three C minus seven. Just plug C equal to. That will be eight plus six minus seven, 14 minus seven, which is seven. So that will be my answer. Do this one. Sometimes you need to do some calculation. Limit, it goes to one. What will be that? I think this is, should be in, in 2.3, it's okay. Plus one over X minus two, X minus one. And that will be limit, it goes to one. I have X minus two, X minus one. You have what here? X minus two plus one. That will be limit. X goes to one. Yeah, I think this question should be in 2.3, but it's okay. The idea is very simple. I can cancel this and just substitute. So it will be one over one minus two. That will be minus one. We'll do similar to this in, in 2.3. Which one of the following statement is true? Limit x goes to infinity is zero. As I'm going to infinity, infinity, infinity is here. So the limit is going to one. Actually, we'll do this in 4.5. So, okay, this should be one. Wrong. x goes to one. One, it will be this value, minus three. It's not going to infinity. Zero, it's going to minus infinity. But one, it's going to minus three. This is minus three. Two, the limit is minus two, not minus one. Huh? Two, the limit is not f of two equal minus one, but I don't care about it. I care about going this side and this side. So it will be here or there. So it will be minus two. X goes to minus two is zero. No, the limit does not exist. Because right, it will be zero, but left, it will be one. So the limit does not exist. X goes to zero. X goes to zero. Yes, it goes to minus infinity. So this is correct. If the limit exists, find 2C plus 4. Yeah. What you will do? The limit exists means the limit. It goes to one from right. Equal limit. It goes to one from left. We know the idea. So from right, it will be here. Just substitute instead of x1. So you have 1 minus 2 square. And the other side, you have what? Square root 1 plus 1 plus c. So you have what here? 1 equals square root 2 plus c. So you have 2 plus c equal 1. So c equal minus 1. What he want? You want 2c plus 4 minus 2 plus 4, which is 2. So that will be my answer. The sum of all values of c for which the, the function, the limit as it goes to c does not exist. Okay. Now, these functions, you need to check these functions are smooth functions. So always the limit exists. So it means what? We need to check only at jump points where I jump now from this function to this function. So I need to check only at x equal two and at x equal four. What will happen? So I need to check the limit as it goes to two from right. I need to check the limit as it goes to two from left. Two from right means they will be here, x greater than two. That will be limit as it goes to two from right, eight minus two x. 8 minus 4, that will be 4. Limit as goes to 2 from left. That means I am where? I will be here. X squared, that will be 4. So this is OK. Now what about 4? Let me do it here. Limit as goes to 4 from right. Because from right, I will be in a function. And from left, I will be in another function. That will be 4. What is the limit? As it goes to 4 from left. Yeah, from left, I will be here. 8 minus 2 times uh, 4, so there will be 0. So the limit here does not exist. Let 
limit does not exist. Here, the limit is goes to two for this function is equal to four. So this is correct. This is the limit does not exist. So what are the values of C? Only four, only four. What is the limit as goes to two? We did it. It's four. So no need to do it again. This is correct. What will be F at one? The limit is goes to one. X goes to one. It may, if you look at this one, it's what? X squared plus three. If X less than one, two. If X equal one, X squared plus three. If X greater than one. So what is F at one? F at one will be two. Now check the limit as it goes to one from right. From right will be here, this function. It will be the same actually, left divide the same function. Huh? X squared plus three, that will be four. And what is the limit? As it goes to one from left, still equal four. And the limit as it goes to one, but I'm getting the same function, left and right, less than one or greater than one. So this is will be four. So what is this? F at one is two. F at four, F at as it's got the limit is four. That will be the answer minus two. That will be the answer. That will be the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. Now you have a graph and he's asking about some 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 questions. You want to check x goes to minus two. Minus two. This is minus two. So what is the limit? This goes to minus two from right. From, from right, I'm going to where? To minus infinity. What is the limit? This goes to minus two from left. Less than minus two. I will be here, I will be somewhere here. And that give me what? One, two, three. That will be three. So the limit as it goes to minus two does not exist. Because right not equal to left. Minus three. Check at minus three. Minus three, I will be here. So this is right. This is left. Both should be two. From this or this side, for sure it's, it's equal to two. So the limit as goes to minus three is equal to now x goes to four four the same thing left or right i will be in this side or in this so always it goes to two huh? also minus three the same idea so limit and that limit should be equal to two yeah you can do it easily s goes to minus three zero minus infinity infinity okay Minus three. This is minus three. Very clear. Left not equal to right. Huh? So we say limit from right. From right means it will be here. And that will be zero. Huh? It will be zero, yes. And from left, from left, it will be here. And that will be minus two. So this limit does not exist. What about zero? Zero, I'm going to plus infinity. Very clear, plus infinity. Minus infinity, minus infinity, it will be what? This is the zero minus one, because it will be here. huh? This is going to minus infinity, so it will be minus one. We'll do this in 2.5, no problem. Goes to infinity means it will be around this value, which is four. This is what we yeah, I think that will be enough for for this section, 2.2. So let me stop the recording. Yeah, yeah. thank you.